Well then, hi, welcome back to another video. Wait, no, wait, that's, that's, nope, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is SpotTube. So it's an open source Spotify client for every platform, and it allows you to choose your audio source. So you can grab audio from Spotify, uh, not Spotify, sorry, YouTube, Piped, and something else. Now this means you have a better audio source because Spotify's audio source is the most inherent garbage in existence. It is the most compressed thing I've seen since I've had an MP3 player that 120 megabytes of storage on it and I had to compress those bad boys down to like, just, it was good, but I couldn't tell because I had the crappiest headphones in the world. Yeah, until I added a one gig memory card and it's like, audio, show me audio. And then I started moving up in the world and now I have really nice headphones and a big ass phone. So audio is good. Anyway, it has tons of supporters, as you can see, and it's pretty damn cool. And guess what? We're already logged in and ready to go. So this is it right here. In a nutshell, this is SpotTube. And I don't know what half of this garbage is here. But it's not me. Let's go to like tracks, shall we? And I haven't been on Spotify in 10 years. 10 friggin' years. Okay? That says it all. Now, it's loading things because it has to pull from Spotify itself. But I updated the logo and my name, which is great. And it's not wanting to load. So let's go into the big booped girls thing. Ah, oh, Vindicated is such a damn good song. Like... This is just me in a nutshell right here. All of this is me. Ha <laughs> ha. What up, Eminem? Love that friggin' song. Jump around. I added that because of family members. It's been a while. Like, man, there's so much good stuff here. Yeah. So if you are the type of person who would definitely find this useful, this is for you. This is not made from electrons. So what that means is you don't get any of that janky stuff going on which is really good. I muted the audio. I want to show you how long it takes to load a song. And it really does take quite a while to load the song, but it's worth it. There we go. Oh, it sounds so good. Yeah. That was loud. Yeah, it sounds ridiculously good. Uh, when it comes to audio, Apple Music has amazing audio even for the lowest end uh there's 64 sounds like 256 their 256 sounds like uncompressed most of the time which is really nice because it is it is technically uncompressed so they just have it to a point where it can fit on any device and spotify just compresses everything to the worst possible thing imaginable and uh, the bass is crunchy the separate the separate you know, the instrument separation is horrible, but YouTube has the second best audio source when it comes to just average, like, bitrate, and it nails it. So YouTube is definitely a great source. Yeah. So this was an auto-generated playlist for me, by the way. And uh, when it showed up, I immediately jumped on it back in the day. Yeah, I might transfer this over to Apple Music. But uh, this is SpotTube in a nutshell. I mean, it's a pretty damn good app if you're looking for an alternative for Spotify that actually works and functions. Logging is going to be a bit weird. I suggest using Firefox for logging in. Uh, you basically log in to normal Spotify on Firefox. You click F12 and you click storage and you find what's called the... Uh, well, it has instructions to it, but you grab your token, you paste it in, you're in. It uses a Spotify API, so all your songs and tracks and everything are going to be here. Lyrics, your stats. This does not do podcasts or anything like that, so don't expect that. It's not coming at all. Uh, they don't want none of that in there, but a lot of other stuff is coming, which is nice. So, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to watch cool Linux applications videos and want to learn about Linux. This is what I'm here for. I have a Linux Guides playlist. You should find it in the description below. And you'll find a link to this in the description below. They have a flat pack and it's on the AUR. So you should have no trouble installing this on Fedora or anything else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.